Hi everyone, I'm AJ and I'm today and I'm bringing you a second stretch for cyclists. This is only going to be in a six minute video, so nice and quick once you've finished your cycles. We'll just be developing some of our stretches. So once you've mastered those stretches in part one, try part two of this video to see how you get on with those stretches and hopefully you can develop your flexibility even further. Enjoy. We started by loosening up the shoulders, loosening up the chest. We are going to start very similarly, just circling those shoulders and right arms. They will be in quite a tight position from sitting on your bike, perhaps for a few hours at a time. Just tucking those elbows in, chin down, and then opening up, reversing our stretch. Really pull those shoulder blades back, hold it here for a few seconds. Elbows pulling back, chin up and take it into a slight twist, side to side, hands still up on the shoulders. And just bring your one arm across, drop that shoulder down away from here, swap across to the other side, drop that shoulder again. And bring it around, opening up both arms, so hands behind the back, heels of the hands together. Now if you struggle with that stretch alone, just keep trying to reach the heels of the hands together. If you're able to lift up and lift that chin, open up the chest. Continue with that stretch, you're going to bring it around onto the bottoms, hands behind the back, feet tucked in, and just gently walk those hands backwards along the mat, trying to keep the fingertips together. Again, this is opening out the chest, so just lift the chin, push the ribs forward, you get a huge stretch across the chest. Some of you just move with quite a deep stretch, so just move gently. And walk those hands back in. From here, we're taking it down into our bridge. So feet tucked in at hip width, lifting up into your bridge, reach both arms back, overhead, squeeze those glutes, hold it there. Now just keep moving the arms up and over. Focus on that knee there. Squeeze those glutes tight, don't let the bridge drop. Taking it one more time and coming down from your bridge. Now this time we reach up and over. So you lift into the bridge, one arm comes off of the floor. We start to twist, reach up to the diagonal, tap onto the floor, bring the arm back down and drop away from that bridge nice and slowly. Squeeze those glutes, coming up across to the other side. Reach, touch the floor, hand coming down. And just one more time on each side here. Now a lot of cyclists say they have quite tight glutes and hamstrings, so just tucking one leg across the other, reaching up, pulling that leg in, use the elbow if you need to, to push gently out on that knee. Taking it across to the other side, lifting up, knee out, pushing down on that elbow. And relax, so we're going to bring it up. Now you'll need either a surface, a chair, or a bench, something around hip height when you're kneeling. We're going to reach both arms out in front of us. Now start to walk those knees back and see if you're able to drop the head below the elbows. Pushing equally down on both sides, ribs down towards the floor, bottom sticking backwards, and slowly bring it back in. One more time, breathing out, reaching down, drop that head a little bit lower, but watch that you're not allowing the ribs to pop, they're staying engaged, the core is nice and tight to support the back. So you're working for a flat back, just dropping that head below the shoulder height and bring it back up. If you find this stretch quite tight, you may want to take a chair with a taller back and you can stand up to do this stretch. One more variation we'll add is a prayer position. 
you're going to pop both elbows onto that surface, walk the knees back and drop the head below, keeping the hands squeezing together. Keep breathing, core engaged, ribs are not allowed to pop out. Good, bringing it back up and hands onto your surface. And final stretch we're going for just to really target those glutes. It's a little bit awkward to get into. You may want to stand up to take this stretch. This is going to be our glute stretch. So I'm going Please try to implement as many stretches as you can throughout your daily life. It will really help to prevent injuries in the long term, which means obviously you can keep moving for longer. Take care and I'll see you next time. Well done.